Hey, welcome to Wayne's Rolls. Me, Dwayne the Booze and Blogger, coming at you. This week, we're going to talk about a controversial topic that's in the news now, and that is the fact that Michael Vick, former All Pro football player, uh, has been named one of the four legends captains in the 2020 Pro Bowl. Uh, a lot of people are pissed off with this, and we'll discuss this. So stick around, I'll be right back. Dwayne's World! Dwayne's World! Hey, thanks for sticking around. It's me, Dwayne, the Booze and Blogger. Yeah, so, Michael Vick. And it, for those of you who don't know who he was, or is, sorry, he is a former All-Pro quarterback. He played for Atlanta. He played like 17 seasons, uh, most of which with the Falcons, and then he finished his career up in... Uh, Philadelphia. Depending what you read, uh, Vic spent between 17, 18, 18 to 21 months in jail for fi financing a dog fighting ring. Now, this is an atrocious thing to have uh, to do. Um, anything that harms animals is absolutely sickening. Animal abuse should not be tolerated, and people should be held accountable, and they should have to go to jail. Michael Vick served his time, no complaining, no appeals, no nothing. He just went to jail. What he did, he knew was wrong. Uh, through his, through while he was in jail, he helped out with uh, animals. He continues to support homeless dogs or shelters and everything else. He's taken up a great cause, helping animals that he used to hurt. It's magnificent. He doesn't have to do any of this, folks. He's already paid his debt to society, but he continues to do it to show that he is remorseful for what in the fuck he did. Vic was a great football player. Plain and simple. He got drafted number one out of college. Uh, he was amazing, amazing talent. A bunch of records. When he played for Atlanta, he got cut when he got sentenced to jail. Did his time. And then he came back to play, and he played decent when he came back. It, like, it wasn't all washed up or anything. He actually played pretty good when he came back. And like I said, he served his debt. What I don't get is that if you go on any board and you say that, you know, you complain about people, all the perks they get in jail and stuff, you say, well, it's supposed, to, we got to rehabilitate them back out into society. Well, what good is that if all you're going to do is hold their fucking past against them? When do they get over their past? Like, I mean, he's doing good now, people. He's Becoming a worthful person and he's helping society. Like, now this twat named Joanna Lind, she, when she heard that Vic was going to be one of these captains, she took all up in arms because, you know, what he did was bad. Well, he served his time. You guys can't have it both fucking ways. Come on, make up your mind. Jail is to... to be rehabilitated or jail is to be punishment. Make up your fucking mind. You can't have it both ways. He, I love dogs. I've had them my whole life. What he did was absolutely fucking disgusting. And I really feel bad for the animals. But he went to jail. He served his time. He got out. A person who commits armed robbery, do you hold it over them for their entire life after they're done? When they get out, you shouldn't because they've apparently they've served their debt to society. Now that's what Vic did. So these pansies out there that are saying that he shouldn't be, shut your fucking mouths. Joanna Lynn, go jump off a goddamn bridge for all I give a fuck about. Um, shut your face. Leave the guy alone. He's, I bet you 10 to 1 she's one of those people too that would be preaching for, you know, an armed robber to be able to be released and be reformed but now she's picking up michael vick who actually was a model prisoner he was a model player when he came back to the nfl he's been a model citizen since get over it he served his debt fuck off leave him alone let him get he deserves it but to do the crime do the time is that what everybody says well he did his crime and he admitted to it and he did his time now leave him alone He's allowed to recoup his life now too, isn't he? Anyway, like I said, Michael Vick deserves a, his chance. He's been 
rehabilitated. He's been proving to be a great member of society. He helps with the things he he had he had done. He doesn't have to support all these animal groups. He doesn't have to. He does it out of the goodness of his heart. He realizes what he did was wrong. And I think that should be it. How long does a person have to suffer before they're forgiven? Or at least, you know, let what do they got to do to be redeemed? Anyway, this is Dwayne the Booze Blogger. Come around next week. I'll have a new edition to see what we're going to talk about then. Until then, don't be a fucking asshole! Dwayne's World! Dwayne's World! Dwayne's World!